Hey everybody, just occurred to me, I haven't made an intro from a new video. So this is Daryl Vance with the AK Farms. Farm, not plural, I've only got the one farm. But uh, we're gonna go get this firewood in and uh, hopefully be set for a little while in case the bad weather turns off, you know. So let's get started, if she will start. Yeah, I was cutting this for firewood. So, see how it's pulled the the center? See the gap back in there, all this come out. If I was cutting this for a saw log to sell, that would be a big deal. I don't wanna pull my center out. So, but this is a hickory and it's for firewood. And to improve, my pasture, if you notice, it's in the edge of the pasture field, right on the edge. So I need to keep working it back. Anyway, just thought I'd share it. It ain't like it's rocket science or probably not really interesting to most people, but I'm trying to stay relevant on the TikTok platform. Good morning, everybody. We'll go get in, uh, get in that firewood that off that big hickory we saw last night and fell. Make sure I got my ball on the polaris because we are going to be pulling the wood splitter around there to it. And I'm cleaning up.
Okay. I don't want to be realistic about, about this wood splitter. It has made my life tremendously easier, better. Uh, but there's a few flaws on this particular brand that uh, I didn't really care for. One, the reservoir where your oil is stored. See, there's the venting cap. Whether it's condensation or whether the venting cap leaks, but moisture gets in the oil the very first year that I had. And you can see this is a clear hose. You can see the milk, and that is terrible on these pumps. Because where there's water and heat, there's no lubrication. Okay. The other thing I didn't like about it is this hangs low, which I actually trimmed some of this off. This hung lower. And if you're pulling it like I do, which maybe it's not made to pull through the woods, but you catch a rock or stump, it will jerk that hose off and you'll lose your oil. Got one more flaw with it since I've had it. This engine. And I can't tell you how it's doing it, but this gas tank is full of water. I don't know. I can't explain it. I don't know if it's coming in around the air filter and somehow backing up in the fuel tank or if the cap leaks, I mean, it's, I don't know. But water gets in there. And I've already replaced the carburetor once and I took the bow off this year and it's rusted up. So it ain't gonna be long, I'll be doing it again. But on the upside, it does what I need it to do. So I've got a lot of wood here to work up today. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut me some nice smooth round chunks. In fact, I've got one right there I can use and I'm gonna put under the front of this, the biggest part of this log here. So it'll have something to roll on. And then I'll go get my big tractor and drag him up there where I can split it with the wood splitter. That's the whole point, bringing it up here. But in the meantime, I got all this other to work up. So let's get started. So I always keep my eyes open for foraging material and lo and behold on this hickory and i'd say there's plenty of it check this out right here that's osnia old man's beard so i save it i have never tried making a tea out of it yet but uh a lot of a lot of homesteaders claim medicinal use of this so I save it for those unaware of why we cut so much firewood is uh, we got one of these boilers. It's actually not a boiler, but it goes by a boiler name. And uh, we heat our home and we heat our water with this unit through heat exchangers. It heats the water. It's got a, it's got a fire box and then an outer box, and then all in between is water. So your heat heats the water. The water is pumped into the home through these little taco pumps to insulate the pets into the house. Where we have heat exchangers and air handlers. For people that's not familiar with the stoves, uh, I fill it twice in 24 hours, usually about every 12 hours. On warm days like today, uh, it don't burn nearly as much. 
and it's got an electric damper that kicks off and on. So when the temperature gets up, the damper closes and it smolders until the temperature gets down on the stove. And depending on how much you're using and the temperature outside will depend on how often the damper opens. But on an average, I feel it in the mornings before I go to work, probably about 4.30 in the morning. I filled up in the evenings when I get home, probably 5.30, 6 o'clock. And it just, it's ongoing like that. And when I say filled up, I don't mean stick every stick in it you can get. I mean, just, you know, put a good amount in it to make sure the fire, fire goes until the evening time. Yes, you did it. Find out. Reinforcements today. Well, I hate to break up a good party here. Everybody all waxed around the firewood pile. Probably a good wind break for the girls and guy. But I got to get this down to the house. Probably not the biggest load, but uh, I sure can tell it's back there coming off this hill. It tends to want to push you a little bit. So we got the wood unloaded. Uh, give a little explanation of why we have a wood burner is because when we bought the place it had a propane furnace the propane was nice i'm not gonna lie to you great heat it's expensive though and i say on the top end we'd spend around two thousand a year when actuality is probably about 1500 so but we'll say two thousand just to make it easy to figure the numbers and uh a whole nother story, which I'll tell some other time. I got into it with the gas company and I said, you know what? Uh, I'm not doing this no more. So I ceased the gas, the propane, and uh, I invested in one of these stoves, which actually at that time they offered financing. So I purchased the stove. And if you count the money, it saved me on propane and put it all towards uh, the financing on the stove, it paid for itself probably a little over five years. So I've had it probably closer to 10 years now, so I ought to be going to the good. Now, that being said, there is 
work, a lot of work involved. You do go through a little bit of chainsaw uh, maintenance items and uh, it's even wear and tear on your chainsaw, but does it even out? I, I think so. I think uh, it's a better, it's got to be better than what than paying a lot on propane or electric. You know what I mean?